are you doing today? Um, we're going to go ahead and build the uh, spaceship, the XW. Um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and arranged pieces like style. Kind of go through the directions. You can kind of see how many, how it goes together. So you can kind of pile it up the right way. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, stand together. So it's going to call for these two pieces, those two, and this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing we're going to do is glue these two together. The laser, you can pick different sides and stuff to give different looks you want, so you can always decide whether you want the smoky side up or the kind of spotted side. But that's that's purely a, just a choice. Now you want to do these steps fairly quick because you are gluing something together that's got to line up. You know, the pieces, they spread out a little bit, so we're able to get some glue here. And you just want to put glue onto those little notches there. Just kind of push them together. You know, you can. Once they're pushed together, they're going to square itself up. So we'll just set that to the side. All right, we're going to start building the body. So we're going to grab all these pieces. The piece we need right now is going to be these here. The pattern is going to face down. This piece goes through that hole. That's going to be our hanger so we can hang this up later. So at this point in time, you just want to put a little bit of glue on each side of these spots. This one here, and that one sets there. Now, you can sit here and hold this if you want, or you can set it onto the stand for that piece just stays there. Because we're going to go back to that in just a second. So now we're going to want ones that have arrows on them facing up and down and notches. So that's going to be these two here. Got the arrows, the notches. And what those arrows are going to do is they're going to tell you which way to put those on so you're on the right side. And don't worry, all of this arrows and stuff will be covered on as we progress. So, the arrows go down and the arrows go to the front. Now this is the front. So, arrow down into the front, and that will slide onto here. So, a little bit of glue, there, to the front and down. down. And you can take two of these, just, just, just set it there while you get the other one. Now we're going to go to the to the front, to the front, and down. Okay. The other way you can glue these is a little dab of glue right above those notches. They just slide on, just push together. Okay. Now we've got the end pieces we want to slide on. This one here, with the pattern, is going to go to the back. So the back is not the side with the hanger, the other side. So, just like that, wipe the glue off. Now you're going to do the front, okay, and then again, just wipe the glue off. Now the next step is going to be putting the 
bottom pieces on. The bottom pieces are these pieces. Does not matter the direction. They're identical. So one will here and here. So what I do is I just kind of put a little bit of glue on all the center pieces. And then I come back and just a little bit of glue on each one of the edges. push everything together. And that's the start of the body. Now that's the first five steps. I'll go to step six. Step six is going to be these two large pieces. Again, look at the way the arrows are pointing. Okay? Front's facing me. Top, bottom. So the arrow is going to face down and to the front, just like this. Okay. What these are doing is making the slots for the wings to set into. So, so top, forward. Okay. Top, bottom, forward. Set that to the side, let it dry. Put these two pieces with it, because you're going to need those later. Now we're going to build the body, or the front of it. You need these two pieces. I need this long one. Glue here and there. Does not matter how you put the first piece on. The second piece has to be the same. This has the dab, little tab on top, tab on top. Okay? We're going to put the top piece in. So, glue on each side. And there. Now you can kind of turn it over. Now the rest of these, how we're going to do, does not matter which one goes where because they're identical. So, easiest thing to do is just start by putting glue into a handful of spots. Oh, hang on. to some of those spots. Wider piece, thinner, thinner piece. These will ooze out a glue, the glue a little bit. That's okay, because we're going to come back and wipe it off.
and make sure you put the lines facing out. Okay, now holding it like this, just dab the glue and then set it to the side. We will be coming back to that fairly quickly. If you want to, you can let it dry or you can continue to the next step. I'm going to continue to the next step and then let it dry in a couple minutes. So the next step is going to be putting those on. These are all numbered. So a little bit of glue. This is number one. Number two, number three, number four, and number five, the solid one. And just set it to the side. Okay, now if you take the body we built and the front, these are going to go together like this. Okay, so what I want to do is put glue definitely right at that little tab, but then other places also. Just like that, and just let it set there. Okay, now this is not one of those models that we can go ahead and continue working and do other stuff while things dry, unless we jump a couple of sheets of directions ahead, which we can start building the wings. But I want to keep an order with you guys, but if you want to, instead of having to wait and let this dry, if you go to step 15, which is starting to build the wings, you can do that while this is drawing and then come back to it. But I want to stay in order in the direction, so I'm going to go ahead and take about a five minute break, let that dry up, and then we'll continue from there. Thank you much. Okay, welcome back. Um, we've let this stuff dry and we're going to get ready to go ahead and put the rest of this model together. So what we're going to do is on the engines, we've got all four of these. These little pieces here, the little rounds, they're going to go here on top of these bottoms. Now, if any of these were sticking through, this piece here was sticking through, these will fit over it. So don't worry about that. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and glue these on. You want to make sure that when you glue these, these on now that the lines that say which one's which are glued to the motor. So that way you don't see the line sticking out like this. You just flip it over the other way. So you put the glue on the side with the lines. And then just try to try to center them on there. Okay. Now the last part is the one with the little engine there. Those just glue on top here. And we'll just set those over. And we'll 
stuck in this way so it don't fall over. And when you put them together, if you kind of hold your fingers over the side of them and you turn it a little bit while you push, it helps them to uh, smear the glue around, plus it'll help it dry faster. The whole key is to uh, get the glue is to absorb it in. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to go ahead and glue these onto the engines. Now, we have a bottom and a top, and the engines, you want them to face this way, okay? You do not want them facing that way. It's backwards. So, a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there. And then just kind of set these on there, line up the back. Again, line up the back. Last two. It does not matter which engine goes on which wing. It only matters that they face the right direction. Again, line up the back, the last large one, with the mount. It does not matter where that front one lines up. Because it will vary depending upon the thickness of the wood. Alright, there is that part. So the wings are done, everything's ready to go. Now, at this point in time, there's, there's multiple steps that's got to take place. Um, I'm trying to kill a little bit of time to let these dry a little bit before they're usable. You're going to have the, the directions right now. Are showing this step. Okay, a little hanger is here, pointing forward, this is the B, you can see the B, this is the top one. So we want to find the right one. So that's a top one, so it's going to face that way, that's the right one. We know it, this is the bottom one because we dumped them together, okay. So basically, now these aren't going to stay in, so I'm going to hold it, but see how you have the patterns on the top side. So that's why you wanted to put the engines in the way they were. Okay, I'm going to take this one out and this one out. Now the key here is just putting a ton of glue in here. Um, because once the wings are in, these little pieces, and if you notice, they've got like a little, made with the lines, they kind of point. So that's going to go on like this. So you see how the lines kind of point up to a V? Let me grab the pointer here. Like this. That's going to point towards the front. So take this out and just, when I mean a lot of glue, I mean a lot of glue. Because this glue is not going to come out. It's just going to stick in there. All right. Top. Bottom. Okay, if we set it just like this, and then if we take this piece here, and we put glue here, it'll set on those pieces. When you push that in, that goes ahead and sets this angle. Okay? So now what you can do is you can set it like this, and continue working. You just got to be really careful. Okay? So... The first thing we do is a ton of glue. I wipe that off. Oh. Bottom. Top. And our P 
piece came off on the other side. All right, that's fine. Glue there. They're all facing forward. Just like that. There we go. And get it in place. Now what I would do is I would go ahead and hold this for a little bit, just like this, hold it together. You want to make sure that glue has a chance to absorb a little bit. There's a lot put in there. Um, you could have gone ahead and done the one wing, just set it down, let it dry for about five minutes, come back. Uh, I know that you guys don't want to sit here and wait for me to hold this for five minutes. Anyways, at this point in time, this stand sets right in that little area there okay so you're gonna have this part here so stands just like that alrighty okay so there we are here's the XW spaceship hope you enjoyed building it we do have a couple leftover parts here um, we just go ahead and throw those out alright thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed it we'll see you again on another video